Hey Reefers, hope you're doing well. It's day two of the Fishless Cycling by Dr. Tim's. I really want to do this video a little bit earlier today, but I've been out in the Derbyshire Peak District doing a little bit of walking around Chatsworth House. Seen some deer, it's been absolutely stunning. If you get a chance, you must go up and visit that area. Yesterday was a bit of a nightmare. I think it was about six litres of water that flooded out of the ATO. Absolutely gutted. Um, so I nearly, <laughs> I nearly had the reef tank in the living room, uh, in the study and in the bedroom. So they're really good value if you you, uh, spread the tank around I honestly don't know how people manage it with these huge tanks you know 400 litre tanks I'd be absolutely petrified if one of those went and I can see why people get worried about it anyway uh, as you can see I've got the light on I put the light on just so you can see the the aquascape a little bit better and it's cleared up loads just in 24 hours the sedimentation settled the water's much clearer it, Obviously I'm looking forward to getting a bit more clearer than it is, but it is a lot clearer than what it was. So you can see the uh, little aquascape a little bit better. If I show you there, it's starting to take shape. I'm pretty pleased with it. I've moved the wave maker a couple of times just to try and get the best position on the wave maker. Uh, but I'm quite happy with where it is at the moment and the settings on there as well. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to check the salinity because that was a little bit high yesterday. It was about 36 so I'm hoping it's dropped down. I'm just going to use the HANA checker. I'll do that in a second. I've also got this from Amazon, TDS meter and pH. And I'm going to use the pH tester. This one here. It came with three calibration fluids which I've already done so it's a case of just dropping this into the water and then testing the pH which I'll record and then I'm also going to test for ammonia and nitrite using the marine care kit and then I'm going to register that onto my aquarium note app which I downloaded from uh, the play store so I've got a record of all that so let's have a little look then I'm going to use the salinity checker first as I say, this was 36 yesterday, so I was a little bit worried. Uh, but it's been cycling a day, the rocks have been in there, so we'll have a little look, see where we are. Try and get you off the stand as well. I'm just going to keep a record of all of my parameters. don't know if you can see. Oh, let's have a little look. We're at, I don't know if you can see that. That is... 33.3 .3. and we're at 25 degrees 33.3 I really I hope you can see that on the screen 33.3 uh, so easy it's so easy to use the salinity checker absolutely love that from Hannah I'm absolutely I'm waiting for my nitrate checker from Hannah as well I'm sure that's going to be here pretty soon that will help uh, the last thing I'm going to do is going to do the pH so let's grab a little bit of water out to do my testing there we go, there we go, wipe that off, and we're just going to check the pH now, take it off the stand so you can see, put it on, and according to Dr. Tim's, if the pH is above 7 that's healthy, and if it's above 8, it's very good, and we've got 8.02, 8.02, slightly alkaline so I'm really really happy with those first parameters the next thing I'm going to do is take you downstairs I'm going to do the ammonia test and the nitrite test and then get those onto the aquarium app off to go the testing so I've just recorded my parameters onto aquarium note a pH of 8.02 which is really good a uh, temperature of 25 degrees and a salinity of 33.1. Sorry about the noise on the previous video. My return pump is still making quite a bit of noise on day two, but I'm hoping it will quieten down. Right, we're gonna run an ammonia test and a nitrite test using the Red Sea kit. I'm gonna start with the ammonia test because it takes up to 15 minutes to process, and then I'll do the nitrite one alongside it. So, first of all, we'll need one vial. We need five mils of tank water. So I'm just going to grab five milliliters of tank water. Try not to get any air bubbles in there. There we go. So there's five mil. Into the vial. Okay, then we're going to take A. We need one scoop of A, it does say on the packaging, one scoop. So to get a nice scoop, I'm going to just level it off with the card just to get the right amount. There we go. So one scoop of A, in it goes. Give it a little swizzle around for 10 seconds. 
I'm just doing a little bit of timing on my phone next to me. Okay, step two, we need five drops of the B, it does say on there, five. So we get the B reactor, these are brand new. Just take that out. So if you get five drops carefully into there. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, exactly five drops into there. Again, the lid goes on. We give it a little swizzle around. I've got the timer next to me on my mobile phone. Sorry about the camera shaking here. Okay, and then that comes off. We then do the final one, which is C. Again, it says five drops. Red C make it very straightforward with their testing kits. Just need to get the lids off. <laughs> right, okay. So here we go. Get five of these in. One, two, three, four, five. There's exactly five drops in. And then we do another little swizzle. And leave it. So we'll just leave that there. 15 minutes and we'll come back to it in next in the video okay so for the nitrite let's get the nitrite on so again we need 16 milliliters for the nitrite test of tank water so each syringe is exactly five one just avoiding getting the air bubbles in that's 10, Fifteen. and that's another one, 16, all in, hope you managed to see that, sorry about the video, okay so then we go to A, and for the nitrite it's one drop of A, that lid looks like it's been open then. Okay, so here we go, just one single drop of A. There we go. And then we give a swizzle. I need one of those shakers, I really do. I'm gonna have to get one. Okay, lid comes off. Then we go on to C. So we don't need B for this one, we just need C for the nitrite. Get a little spoon that's attached. One little scoop. Again, I'm just gonna sweep off with the card. Just level, nice amount, exact amount, level. And then that goes in. Okay, lid back on there lid back on the vial and then another 10 seconds little shake okay done we're going to turn that over we've got them both processing here and then we're going to leave them so come back for the results okay let's take a look at the results then so on my left hand side we've got the nitrite uh, that's been processing for about nine minutes as you can see it's a little bit pinkish in color 0.05 on my right hand side we've got the ammonia uh, that's been cycling for about 15 minutes and it's very dark green it's definitely over two which is great news because that means we can move on to day three of the cycling of dr tim's we can add some more ammonia drops tomorrow so really looking forward to doing that and getting that going again on day three hopefully you find it useful so i'm going to plug those parameters into my aquarium notes on my uh, app so 0 0.05 for nitrates two for ammonia it seems like day two is going quite well if you want to continue on this journey please like and subscribe to the channel and for now you take care bye bye